All right, right now I'm at Fowler Field, which Fowler Field, um, they play soccer and they have a playground. All the walking trails have a playground, but um, they also have the walking trails and some grass. So they play football here, soccer here. Right now it's around two o'clock. And so the big kids aren't out of school yet. So you see a lot of young people on the playground. There's a guy playing golf over here. What I love about walking trails, because we're gonna do hiking areas later, is that they tell you how far you're walking. And I'm looking for my sign, so I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm on the walking trail right now. I believe, if I remember correctly, is three times around is one mile, but I'm going to verify that. We are right off of Chapel Hill Road, and you'll see that in the Google map that we're going to do as well. Now, I would say Fowler Field does get <laughs> flooded sometimes, but they're doing a renovation project, actually Douglasville won some kind of renovation pro project to make sure that that doesn't happen to increase or um, I guess make the drainage system a little bit better in this area. But right now it's dry, it's about 70 or so degrees out here and I'm not seeing my sign. So I'm going to say it's about three, three times around the walking trail is about three miles, if I remember correctly. And you see the guy behind me playing golf. I'll go back, they have restrooms here. There's ample parking. They have some stands in the back, you see that? Um, for when the kids play um, soccer. There are a lot of soccer games that happen on the weekends over here. All right, so Fowler Field, off to our next park. I'm at Hunter Park, so I'm gonna go to the walking trail, but of course, all of the walking trails have a playground um, next door, right, or not next door, right, right next to it. So the mom hack is, or the parent hack, go ahead and make your child walk with you first, and then let them go to the park later. Otherwise, if they start off at the park, they'll never start back. So, all right, so we have our sign. I don't know where the Fowler Field sign was, but this is the walking trail. What's nice about um, Hunter Park is that it has a water feature, so it's really peaceful over here if you're walking. All right, so walking trail for Fowler Field is two laps, one mile. So let's look over here. See? Oh, can we see? Oh, can we get it? Uh, gotta get it in my shot, sorry. Can't get it. Hopefully, I think you see it backwards. So, but it is, I promise, it is, it is two laps, one mile. So if you go around this two times, they have a, like a gravel path and then they have a paved path. And then behind us is the Legacy Center. So they have a pathway to the Legacy Center. That's the new center where they're, gonna, they're going to have events, graduations, all of that. So if you're looking to walk two, mi two laps, one mile at Hunter Park, and they have a park, of course, and this is where my kids have played baseball and softball for a long time. Now we're more into like travel ball. So they've moved out of this park, but it's just a great park. It has various activities. You have tennis here, baseball, softball, you can fish, um, the walking trails. They have bikes that you can rent. There's even a workout facility inside the main building and then the park, um, the playground, uh, of course, as well. Okay, now I'm at Deer Lick Park and I wanted to make sure I got the sign in the shot. It says start to finish half a mile. So when we go around one time, it's gonna be, um, sorry, we go around one time, half a mile, two times, of course a mile. So let's um, go and look at this walking trail. All right, um, Deer Lick Park, I've been here a couple of times. I've done some videos on Deer Lick in the past. So there's a basketball court inside and just like some multi-purpose rooms. They do have a football field. They have a softball field, a playground. Um, they have a volleyball court, like a sand volleyball court. We're gonna pass it. But one of the unique things that they have at Deerlick is that every so often 
they have a little exercise like an outdoor little exercise equipment and so i'm going to go to one of those because i'm not walking all of these miles all right so this is one I'm going down the hill of the pieces of equipment. So you can use some, do some lifts. It's a two person chest press, right? If you can't see it from where I am. So you could actually like sit. So you don't just have to walk here. You can walk around. The only thing I don't suggest, dear look, for children necessarily, you have to have somebody with me. It's going hard. So maybe you do have to have, to have somebody else pushing it for you because I can't push this at all. Um, so maybe that's why it's called a two-person, a two-person chest press. So maybe like you're working off your own body weight. But the only reason I don't like deer lit for if you have children and you want to walk is because the walking trail is like in the street. You know, there's a, a border, right? There's like a line, a double yellow line, but there's still cars. You'll see a car come up next to me. There are still cars on this side. So... My husband and I used to walk here a lot, but once we had children, we switched to either Fowler Field or Hunter Park. It's just a safer environment, I think. But this is a very popular walking trail. So you'll often see a lot of people walking here, especially in the evening or early morning. So still a good option, just I don't suggest it for children. All right, so we have one more park to go, one more walking trail. We're gonna to go to Lithia Springs Park. All right, we're at our last park and that is Lithia Springs Park. So I found our little icon right here. So one third of a mile is start to finish. So you have to go around this three times and you will go one mile. Um, Lithia Springs is where my daughters played softball at Lithia Springs and Hunter Park. So we spent a lot of time here. So during their practices, I used to walk around here. So I'm saying that to say, like, do you have kids in sports? Do you have kids at the playground? You could always get your walking in during that time. So I'm in the kind of the parking lot now, because I'm gonna go to where, you see the softball fields kind of behind me. See that big softball, like circle in the middle. And I'm gonna walk over to the playground because a lot of like these walking trails, this one is outside of the parking lot. So not like deer lick. So it's to me safer. And don't, I didn't say that deer lick wasn't safe, but I just think that it's just, these are safer because they're not connected to the street. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over to where the playground is. But I'm on the walking trail right now. And this is about, I'm doing all of these videos between about two o'clock and three o'clock. So again, kids are just getting out of school in Douglas County at about 225 elementary students. So, and there's not as many people, of course, because people are at work walking around the walking trail. I only see one or two people right now. Gonna walk through here. So it's a pretty big playground. And they have some pavilions and that sort of thing if you wanted to have a picnic, event, birthday party, I guess. And they just have some green space out here as well. So this is in Lithia Springs. So the first three that we went to. We're in Douglasville, and this one is in Lithia Springs. So I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna put other paved walking trails that I didn't get to show you today in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.